Okay, now what? Now just just let it slide pretty far back. Okay. You just got to do it back and forth, back and forth. Okay, now you come back. Okay, we're doing the uh, extended column test right now as we speak. Copy that. Still work, guys. We'll see you back at the parking area. Oh no, you won't. <laughs> okay. What are we testing on this? You could do this with two probes and, and no, All right, the, no channel. But. Good question. The compression <laughs> test is a good test to identify layers. Like you look, we identified a weak layer, we identified the depth hole at the bottom is very weak. We also, by the first one, identified that there's a layer in the middle that's pretty weak. Um, so you're finding those layers. What the extended column test does is extended column test is the idea behind it is it tests the propensity of the snowpack or the slab to propagate. Okay, with the with the compression test, you just have you're you're directly impacting pretty much the entire column because it's about the size of your shovel blade, right? With this thing, you can see that. When Tom puts a shovel blade on one end of the column, he's really only directly impacting that small section. And if this is a really fragile snowpack, and he starts tapping on it, we'll see if it fractures the whole block. And then that the idea is that tell it gives you an idea of whether well whether or not it's going to propagate. Well, because when a when a slab when you get a slab avalanche, you've got to have a failure at the point where you're putting the weight on it. Mm -hmm. yep. But it's also if it just fails there, it's probably okay. You might get a little point release down. But to get the big slabs, mm -hmm. you you saw that big crown at the top of that avalanche. What happens is once it goes there, the slab comes out, pulls the rest. It's it's, a, it's stiff, so it's attached to the rest of the slab. It pulls the rest of the snow away from the away from the slab up above so it propagates. So that, for the fracture to extend a, a distance? Yeah. Okay. okay guys, this, this you, got, idea is this you got five test. minutes here. Okay. Identify whether or not it... What was that cool little uh, thing? I, I probably started at the other end. Oh, you started at the other end? Okay. But uh, who cares, who cares? Okay. It's going to be a little easier to see. Put your back into it. That's 12, 13, 14. There you go. 16, yeah. do one more of it. It, it pretty much yeah, it just went all the way. That was, yeah. So that failed with a single load step all the way across the whole block. Well, it was the, it was the yeah, it was the second, yeah. yeah. Do you want that block to be a certain dimension? So what, what was no, the... No, what we're looking for is... What, I was, what was the number? And it went all the way out to here. Did you keep and track? I went out to 16. about 15. 16? <coughs> Good. Yeah, it tells you a little bit about propagation. You know, if you have... So, to grade that, and back again, back of your book, page 61, extended column test, um, 30 centimeters upslope, 90 centimeters wide, isolate 15 to 120 centimeters deep. So at least isolate it to the layer you're concerned about. So then to score it, you got ECTPB. Fracture propagates across the full column during isolation. No, nope, we didn't get that because we got it isolated. And we had to beat we got, it. We got that yesterday, don't worry. Did you? <laughs> nice. It happened. Fracture propagates across the full column on the same number or one additional tap as initiation. So the number is the tap that initiated the fracture. So that's ECTP what, 16? 16. 16. 16. Fracture initiates but does not propagate across the full column on the nth or nth plus one tap. So we got definitely it propagated, so we got a propagation. The ECT is extended column test. P is propagates. N is no prop does not propagate basically. And then you have CTX, which is no fractures are initiated in 30 steps, 30 standard loading steps. So 
You don't do the elbow, wrist, shoulder. Thing. It's, uh, I believe it's, it's, it's the it's same. It's wrist, yep. elbow, elbow, shoulder. shoulder. For so both tests. Yep. Okay. Same for both and you, tests. And you, yeah, it's, that's the standard. <clears throat> okay. So what's the word, boss? Back to the parking back, lot? Are you that's sure what we're told. going back to the <laughs> sure. parking lot this time? <laughs> that's what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> you going to make me come back again? <laughs> of course.